Hi, today I came with one more interesting topic that is nutrition in amoeba. So nutrition in amoeba, it's very interesting topic children and moreover this is very important question for the class 10. Okay, from the nutrition lesson, this is very important question. So let us discuss about how the amoeba carries out its nutrition process. Okay, so let us see that. So amoeba, first of all, it is an unicellular organism. It is an unicellular organism children. So this is found in fresh water. It is found in fresh water such as lake, pond and even in the rivers children. If you observe the shape and structure of this what children amoeba it is irregular in shape. It doesn't have any regular shape children. It is irregular in shape. So what does it feed? It feed on microscopic plants and animals. Okay. So it feeds on microscopic plants and animals children okay got the point and what type of nutrition is seen in amoeba okay so in amoeba holozoic type of nutrition is seen holozoic type of nutrition got it children and uh, the uh, holozoic type of nutrition is seen in amoeba okay so the process of obtaining of food by this amoeba is by phagocytosis so what is mean by phagocytosis phagocytosis mean cell feeding okay so not only by this phagocytosis there is an another process called has pinocytosis also pino cytosis so what is the difference between this phagocytosis and phenocytosis in this phenocytosis children it will take a liquid okay so liquid is ingest into the body okay so in liquid means what children say that it is a water or soluble nutrients that means what children nutrients which are soluble in the water so if a drop of water which consists of nutrients isn't it so that nutrient liquid is absorbed or ingested into the body of this amoeba so that process we call it as pinocytosis children then what about the phagocytosis phagocytosis means self feeding cell feeding so it will ingest the solid part uh, uh, what into the body children solid part means what it is a microscopic plant or animals so microscopic plants or animals mean what for example like uh, algae okay or some kind of bacteria some kind of bacteria it feeds on this algae or some kind of what children bacteria okay if you see the structure of this amoeba children as we have already studied that it is an irregular in shape so you see the structure see it is an irregular in shape there is no specific uh, what children shape for it right so this is what children inside liquid part it is called as what children cytoplasm okay so cytoplasm is bounded or covered by what children cell membrane cell membrane it is a fluid part children okay the fluid part of this cell amoeba it is what children uh, uh, what cytoplasm and this one it is covered cytoplasm is covered with a cell membrane children okay and uh, inside the cyto in, inside the cytoplasm that is what endoplasm that means inside it is called as endoplasm and just near to this what children cell membrane it is called as ectoplasm okay so many of the cell organelles are present uh, or situated in this what children in the endoplasm itself okay so here in the abiba solid particle i mean liquid part of the cell it is cytoplasm and the solid part of this what children amoeba it is what children nucleus 
okay so nucleus and this nucleus in this nucleus it consists of what children dna it consists of what dna got it so now let us see children here so the finger like temporary projections are seen okay so these projections are called as pseudopodia pseudopodia so podia is nothing but feet and pseudo it is nothing but false so it consists of false feet why we are calling it as a false feet because it is a temporary one okay it is temporary right so here how does it move so this amoeba it will move with the help of what this pseudopodia only right so how does it feed on the microscopic plants and animals so when a prey or when the microscopic plant or animal uh, comes near to the amoeba so the cytoplasm will uh, what children this cytoplasm will project a finger like structures called as what children pseudopodium let me draw it here children okay so here if a uh, say that it is a bacteria comes near to this what children near to this amoeba so what is what this amoeba do so it will project its what children it will project its it will project its cytoplasm finger like and covers and encircles this what bacteria this is what children food for it this is food particle okay so it will encircle this what it will encircle this food and totally it will engulf it it will what children engulf it okay so this taking in or ingestion of food particle children it is what it is called as ingestion ingestion okay so ingestion means what children ingest ingests food particle okay so ingest means what take in take in it is what children food particle so along with this food there is some what children of water is also present here okay so as soon as it it surrounds or encircles this food particle so this layer it will be what children disintegrate it will be what disintegrate and slowly this what children food particle and this is called as what children uh, slowly it moves into the cytoplasm and uh, this forms a food vacuole it is what children a food vacuole it is called as food vacuole okay food vacuole okay and the second step of what children a digestion it is what children first step in this nutrition of amoeba is ingestion process and the second uh, step it is called as digestion okay so in this digestion the food particle gets digested so how does this it, it gets digested so because of some organelles which are present in this endoplasm uh, what endoplasm children say that it is like a lysosomes so these lysosomes produces certain enzymes and these enzymes will act on this what children this enzymes okay so enzymes will act on it on what on this on this food vacuole so because of the action of this what children and en uh, enzymes this food vacuole it gets what children digested okay so it gets what digested so here digestion is seen children because of what children enzymes so these enzymes are secreted by the lyso lysosomes okay children they are secreted by the lysosomes okay so these lysosomes are hydro hydrolytic enzymes they produce and hydrolytic enzymes so these hydrolytic enzymes will digest the food uh, what solid food particle with the help of what children water so this is called what children digestion so after it gets digested children let me draw the one more here you see this this solid this bacteria it becomes into what children a small here 
Why? Because it is already digested, isn't it? Most of the it is got digested, and after digestion, children. So this uh, what um, digested particles will be absorbed by the cytoplasm. It will absorbed by it will absorb by the cytoplasm. So the third step um, uh, in this digestion, uh, in this nutrition. Of amoeba is what children absorption absorption. So here after the food vacuole gets digested, children it will be absorbed in the what in the cytoplasm, children. Okay, and the next fourth step in this nutrition is what children assimilation assimilation. Okay, so in this assimilation process, what is the difference between an uh, absorption and assimilation? Absorption means what, children? So the digested food particles will be what absorbed by the cytoplasm. Absorbed means what spread into the what, children? Cytoplasm here. Then what is mean by assimilation here? This assimilation is nothing but what utilization of the digested uh, what particles. Okay, so here utilization. Utilization of what of a food particle here. So food particles. So what is this food particles? It is completely got digested, isn't it? So the digested particles, utilization of digested particles, we are calling it as assimilation. So how do amoeba uh, what utilize this digested particles? So, with the help of what children? Respiration. So, when these digested particles, because of what children? Respiration process. Okay. So, because of respiration process children. So, these digested particles will release energy. Got it. And this energy is utilized. Okay. It is utilized for the growth. Right. It is utilized for what children? Growth. And not only growth children, it can be useful for the another uh, uh, what processes also. Say that it uh, helps in what reproduction process also. Got it. And uh, see in this way children, assimilation process, uh, it is nothing but utilization of digested food particles children. This digested food particles get used, I mean uh, what it get oxidized by the process of respiration and it releases the energy and that energy is utilized by the what children amoeba for its growth and to or to carry out some other activities also okay children and the next one let us see the next step in this what children digestion okay so are you able to see <clears throat> okay yes you can see the fifth step i'll write it here the fifth step is what children? Ejection. What is this ejection? Ejection means what children? Expelling of waste materials. Isn't it? So when the food gets digested in that process children, there are certain what undigested, undigested food materials are also produced and that undigested food materials should be uh, what expelled outside from the body. So how does it expel outside from the body? Does it have any uh, what children anus here? No. So here it is an irregular shape first. So this undigested food particle children, so it reaches to the what children? Its cell membrane and finally it will ruptures, isn't it? It reaches the undigested food particle. So it will reaches near to the cell membrane and it will ruptures an undigested food, undigested food okay undigested food expels outside expels outside children okay so these five are the important steps in the nutrition of amoeba okay so what are they the first one is what ingestion in this ingestion process food particle what ingest into the body of the amoeba right with the help of what children a finger like temporary projections we call it as what children pseudopodia so pseudopods we call it as what pseudopods so this it is called as pseudopods so when it extends so it forms what children pseudopods pseudopods will what encircle the food particle 
right children and set fill the food food particle along with the water and that food particle it is what children called as food vacuole okay so the uh, what cell microscopic plant or animal it enters into the what children body in the first stage of what nutrition and the second one is what digestion this digestion is see, uh, what occurs due to because of what children enzymes which are secreted by the lysozymes and third one is what after the food gets digested after the food vacuole gets digested so it will be it will be absorbed in the cytoplasm children okay and next step is what assimilation assimilation is nothing but what utilization of what food particles digested food particles how we can uh, what use this uh, what uh, digested food particles when it releases energy only we can use it so how does it releases energy so by the process of what children oxidation so how that digested food gets oxidized by the process of what children respiration how that respiration takes place in amoeba by the process of what children uh, diffusion process you will be studying anyhow in the respiration class children but i'm telling you uh, here also because of respiration because of what children diffusion process so the digested food particles get oxidized and after oxidation it releases the energy and that energy it is useful for the growth children okay and the, after the assimilation the fifth stage is what children ejection ejection in this ejection stage children it will eliminate it will eliminate waste particles okay it will eliminate waste particles children okay so these are the important five stages uh, in the nutrition of what children amoeba okay so this is all about what children nutrition in amoeba this is a very important question in uh, what children board exam so i hope you have understood well i hope you have really enjoyed this what children topic if you have really enjoyed the topic please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you very much